know most of you, if, I, if you don't know me, I'm George Ann. I work here. I'm the director, and we love our coffee and compensation. Many thanks to our Sterling Society. And if you're not members, please think about being a member. It's $25. They put on all of our monthly coffee and conversation. They do the fabulous Founders Luncheon coming up with our Mother's Day tea. And as soon as you see it advertised, you have to book. It's been phenomenally popular every year. Um, coffee and conversation doesn't make it possible to present artists of the caliber of Elizabeth to talk about their work. But I am going to also just do a very brief commercial here. Have you heard of our annual garden party? No. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Dr. Intel over there, this year, he and Sid come, as well as uh, Gwen and Bob Hackworth, Billy and Roy Pesavanto, and Michelle Carolyn. It's in their back, their beautiful backyards or back gardens or lots facing the Gulf. The annual garden party this year, I believe it's the 33rd. It's with the Art Center, it's almost 40. We started in 1974, we're about 48 years old. Garden Party helps support all of our activities. It's really important. If you didn't get an invitation, we didn't leave you out deliberately. Maybe we didn't have your name and address. Just ask. We'll gladly give you that. Gladly. But if you can't make the Garden Party, we'll be surprised if you can. There's something that you can do. You can buy an Opportunity Drawing ticket. Now it's $10, but why? Well, you have a chance to win a week at Whistler in British Columbia, or a week on Clearwater Beach condo, which is always great for all these people that visit us because we live in Florida, um, or in Steen Hatchie, a house on the river. The house in Steen Hatchie sleeps 12 people, as does the condo in Whistler. Um, tickets are $10 each, or, for eight, it's fifty dollars. And these tickets are with Sue's, you know, Sue's sitting out there who helps you all. So remember that almost every dollar that you give us in things like our offer to all these homes were donated because people believe in what the Art Center does. And you all know, I hope, that the Art Center was started by a group of women in 1969. And because of those women, we have this organization, and people say to me all the time, how is it here? It's because of you all, it's the community. Okay, I'm finished. I hand it off to Mary Louise. I wonder if we're delighted to see so many people here. Um, this, as George Ann mentioned, the Sterling Society sponsors this, and I just wanted to mention a couple of the upcoming events that we have that the Sterling Society will want you to try and attend. On March 21st, we have Shared Treasures, and it's at 1 o'clock here at the Art Center, and we want everyone to come and share something that you value that kind of tells a story about you. It, it doesn't have to be an antique, it's something that's really part of you, and get to know each other. Uh, we're trying to increase our membership. As George Ann mentioned, it's only $25 for the year, and we are, a arm of the Art Center, not only sponsoring Coffee and Conversation, we do a Founders Luncheon every year in February to try and get the people who have worked on the Art Center over the years honored, and we do honor our patron of the arts at that event. On April 20th at 6 p.m. here at the Art Center, we have African Night, we have African Food, African Music, African Slides, and I think everyone would enjoy that. And then, as she also mentioned, May the 12th, we have our Mother's Day tea. Um, it's at 1 o'clock. We make all the goodies, savory and sweet. We have a fashion show that MJ's from Dunedin uh, spot, you know, has all of the clothing for us. And we really would like uh, to expand beyond the center, but we try to limit it to 84 people so that we can take care of you. So if you're interested in that, bringing a relative or a friend, please sign up at the 
desk down here. We're delighted to have Elizabeth Coachman with us today. Her background is varied. She began with art degrees at, uh, uh, no, 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 study. <laughs> for 20 years. In the last 10 years, she was at Helen Ellis. She and her husband live on a cattle ranch in Brooksville where her studio, studio for intaglio printing and oil painting did exist. She's won several awards for her drawings and print work, including Best of Show right here in 2007. She uh, is also a reenactor of Dr. Mary Stafford for the Stafford House Museum in Tarpon Springs. And she's currently working on a biography of Dr. Stafford. So I'm sure she'll have lots of interesting information to share with us. Elizabeth, we're glad to have you. I hope you can look at that uh, introduction. Uh, can everyone hear me all right? Do I need to use the microphone?